there's no need to turn editing on. You go straight to the settings block. So my settings block is hidden on the left hand side here in the dock. So you just click on the tiny little square that comes up when you hover over set settings and you get the settings block. So I will go straight into edit settings. Now this is what comes up. You need to go straight to format. So at the moment it's in topics format. So you select using the drop down menu and either look at grid format or tab topics and then you click save changes. Okay, so this is what the course looks like in tab topics. As you can see, one unit is displayed in light blue here, which is particularly good for dyslexic students and just generally for contrast against this theme. All the other units are displayed like this. So the benefit of doing this is it stops you from scrolling down uh, to right the way to the bottom of the page to find your unit. And all the units are displayed along the top there. So we'll go back and click edit settings. Uh, and again, back to format. And this time we will look at grid format. Okay, so this is what the grid format looks like. Um, these modules would need editing. So at the moment, it's got no picture, um, so you'd go into turn editing on and you can start by adding images. So let's say here you would click change image and you'd find an image and choose a file. And as you can see here, I've added an image for my unit and when you click into the image, this is what happens. Your unit information is displayed. Now currently I'm in editing mode, so what I'll do is I'll turn editing off to show you what it looks like when you're not in editing mode. So if I click into this, this is what happens. The screen basically blanks out and your focus is directed to the unit that you're studying. 